Hi, this is Tamika with Pastries, Pumps, and Pine. I'm here with a Plan With Me video in my social media planner for the week of November the 14th through the 20th. I am still a little bit in the mood to use fall stickers. So I'm going to use the Calva Plan. I've used this in my catch-all Big Happy Planner. I've used it in my work planner, my classic size work planner. And now I'm going to use it in this basic size um, social media planner. So I felt like even though this is a fall inserts from a kit from Planners Anonymous, I felt like the colors this week will match what's here in this sticker book. Um, I was about to see what I could do for dates. Now I do have a new dated book that I haven't used actually. Try not to have an avalanche over here on my desk. Okay, so this is from Mojo Church of Plants. I have not used it yet, and I think I'm gonna use it today. So let me find some dates. I like these big dates, but of course, those are definitely not gonna work in here. I'm gonna need some smaller numbers. Guess they're all the way in the back here. Yeah, I'm going to use I see my colors brown, but I don't know if I want to use those or this grayish color. Or should we just use black? Let's just use black. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the dates that I need. Okay, I'm going to end up tearing these stickers to pieces, try and get them out. I noticed that I have to date quite a few of my planners um, because my work planner is undated. This social media planner is the inserts I use in here are undated. And then the inserts that I'm using in my on the go planner are also undated. And then I have my fitness bujo planner, which is undated. I only have one dated planner, y'all. And that's my big catch all. And I will be using a dated catch-all next year, and that's only because I found one that I actually like, because what I was going to do was use the same inserts that I use in my classic size work planner. I was going to enlarge those inserts and use them for my catch-all if I didn't find a planner that I like, but I've already found a planner that I'm going to use my big next year all right so we've used some stickers out of there because I had not used that all right let's go ahead and see what we're gonna do so y'all know I usually leave this space decorative and for quotes and things like that so there are the pumpkins in here I think one of these big pumpkin pieces would look Great. So I'm going to use this piece. Okay. Ooh, that's going to take up much of this box here, which is fine. That is just fine. So yeah, that took up 
take all of that box. <laughs> so I could put a, a small quote right here. These are a bunch of gratitude quotes. Mm. I use this one, always thankful, forever grateful. Let's just use that right in there and I think you should still be able to yeah you can still see that okay that worked out very nice one sticker just decorated that whole space right there so that is nice sidebar let's figure out what we're gonna do with it I might put a decorative box over here Lots of decorative boxes in here. I just gotta find one that I really like. We can add it over there. I think it should have pumpkins to, you know, mimic what's already on this side. So let's see. Let's go with something a little lighter. So I'm gonna go with this. And we'll put this over here in the sidebar. And yeah, of course that went down crooked. Of course it did. It's just gonna whip a little bit, but since I'm putting it back in the same space, should be okay. I don't know. That just went down crooked again, so it's staying there. We're not even doing the three times the charm. Uh uh. Patience is not set up like that today. Um, checklist. I think she includes checklist. This is a uh, Heather Cal stick book. Stick book. <laughs> Sticker book. Uh, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Shorter checklist. So let's use this one. Okay. Already looking good, y'all. Already looking good. We don't even have a lot on page. All right. Since we're over here in these smaller checklists, let's stay over here. I'm going to pull one for Friday. And I will pull another, let's do the greenish looking one here. I'll put this one in one day. Okay. And then we'll bring in this maroon color. Put a box. Tuesday. And then let's do another box on Sunday. And one more. For a particular color. Here we go. And we'll put another one on Thursday. So now we're going to get some bullets here. Oh, 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 
Saturday, I don't really need any. Wednesday, we'll do this blush color. So put put a couple there. I think I'm going to add a couple here. Let's do the mustard color. This week's focus. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back in and see what we have left as far as the decorative elements. I know for sure I don't want any more pumpkins, but there are some floral pieces, and we can definitely add some of those. So, I'm going to cut this to stretch what I've got. Scissors are kind of yucky. Okay. Yep. This one, you never fail until you stop trying. one there and then I want to go back to this book and I know there are washi strips in here there's two pages of washi strips 
I've been navigating towards those stripes because they're pretty neutral and they're not too busy. I think I'm going to use this floral one. Because I didn't want to add any more pumpkins in the mix. But this helps bring in more florals without using up what few floral stickers I have left. I think that's gonna do it. I think that's gonna do it. It looks good. Um, I wish there were more of the decorative stickers. I mean, I see the, the trick there to push the deco, but the deco is mainly in the boxes. I mean, I appreciate a decorative box, but I prefer more separate deco than anything so I'm gonna start being very leery of that because I noticed that sticker book from Heather Kell is like that and one of the sticker books I just recently picked up from Happy Planner is like that and as I was looking at their um, flip throughs and stuff that latest release they did I, I noticed that a lot about a lot of their sticker books they'll give you about three to four actual deco pages and then throw all the deco onto the functional stickers they think they're slick I see it so I've got a ration what actual deco I do have so I think this worked out nicely I think the colors that were on the insert pages this week went well with the colors from that sticker book I think there's a good balance of all the colors and I am liking it a whole whole lot so comment below let me know what you think also guys don't forget to slay subscribe like and accept the alerts so don't miss any videos and i'll see you all in the next one bye bye